Did, um... I'm going to try to find out. I was trying to figure out whether Van Heck knew Bob Neary. And uh, I don't know, some, there's something that tells me that he gets help from somebody. Oh, yeah. Definitely. So, yeah, he must have. So, hey, he might have been a, a colonel or a captain, for all I know. And uh, by me being over there in the last time, like three, so where he had my name, because I don't remember anybody else getting any, any of this book, uh, Star Like Three, that I can recall. So, so there was a Walter, well, I'd have to look at my book. Uh, you know, the names, uh, there was another one, they were both on the same uh, crew. Eddie Mink from, uh, uh, I think, I don't remember if it was Willematic, Connecticut. Uh, oh, and, uh, and uh, uh, there was a Mink and Hunt, Walter Hunt also. That was the, uh, the other one. And then my friends from Central Falls, Leo Callahan. Yeah. Aki Najamian and uh, Tom Perry from Massachusetts and a few others of them that I can a few of them from, from the West. Michigan, I believe it was. I, I, I got them checked off there. Yeah. We used to play a lot of cards. Well, it amazes me that um, that books like this even exist. Huh? You know. Oh, that, yeah. You, you know, you have to and certainly, you know, he done it, uh, you know, uh, without making it, uh, without trying to make any money or anything, didn't even... Uh, well, and the other thing being that, uh, you know, you'd have to come home and then relive it. Yeah. To put it down into words. Words, yeah. you got to go through it all again. Yeah, well, he must have had all those notes all alone. He got away with it, because he had to take a lot of notes. He had to be good at it. But, you know, most people came home and they didn't want to think about it. Oh, no. So it's not everybody. So it wasn't for everybody. That brings up the question, I mean, when you came back, did you have any resentment for German people, as a per se? I mean, was that awkward for you? You must have had some German friends, or... Oh, yeah, I looked at it this way here. I mean, if they're Americans, they're Americans. Yeah. I, I looked at it in a way, well... Whatever the Germans were going through, you know, who was responsible? It's like in those countries right now. Who is responsible for, we say, uh, in uh, China, Mao Tung Sung killing anywhere from 30 million to 70 million Chinese? And that was only in the 60s, right after. You had the Cold War, you had deadly good Jesus. You had the North Korea, and yet, 
but then I could, we had, we were supposed to be friends with France and so forth, and yet these other countries are, we're waging war right along. Anybody that opposed their government, they'd get rid of. But, you know, you can certainly understand how people come home and they have a hard time. Oh, well, yeah. Well, yeah. I, I never tried to dwell on it because uh, I knew very few Germans, really. You know, even at home. I never questioned it. I never questioned anybody whether he was German or not. If he was American, he was American. He was just like just like me being Canadian. My parents were from they were from Canada. So really you, when you got that, you were in the hospital for a while. Yeah. Down at Atlantic City. Yeah. And I, I tried to I tried to reason things out. And that's why, you know, that's why I had changed my mind. I did so much thinking and, and so forth that I uh, I took a somewhat of a negative attitude towards the service. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you talked about and, that. And uh, I didn't like the way they did things at times. And no matter what, uh, it's, it's, it's like it's just like politics. And I'm, they do things without even asking you or asking anybody. They, whoever has authority, well, he pushes himself to the point, this is the way it's going to be and that's it. They don't listen to, you know, say, uh, an attitude where... You can keep that one for Sunday. No problem. Where they could discuss things. You know, it's like, you say, like Doolittle, when he took command, you notice how fast he went. He, he knocked off all the anti submarine. He took over the command. He was the, be the, uh, he was the one that decided for himself to go on the aircraft carrier, to do the, you know, the, the big hero thing, and involve maybe, to me, I thought that would have been a, like a, a suicide. A 25, you know, he was, you know how lucky he was? A 25 coming off of an aircraft carrier, when even fighters have a trouble, trouble. I mean, let's face it, the plane is three times the size of a, 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 a fighter. I don't know, I just couldn't see that. And he was fortunate that a lot of them went down. He lost quite a few. But just the same, he made it lucky enough. You know, he was fortunate he made it. But most of the others never made it. When, when you came back, were you able to talk to other POWs at all? No, I never, no, very few people knew I was a POW outside of the family and so it, forth. It wasn't, never, it wasn't. There was, there was nothing, so there was nothing to it. Now, I had one right up in a particular time where I had shot down the National Space 109, and my first, you probably saw it, I don't remember if you did or not, but I can show it there, I just happened to, catch it the other day, you know, and, uh, you know, I just, uh, everybody... Did, did you join a veterans group right away? 
I was already in a VFW. My father registered me in the VFW during the, while I was in the service. And that the uh, Lafayette Post, and I very seldom went to it. I, I went for, we started a Franco-American veterans, and uh, I got involved there, and then we were uh, the first one for DAV, there was only a few of us, and that's where I joined them. Uh, and that, uh, I was more interested to spend more time with that. And then I joined the naturally as the American Legion. But uh, all in all, I just I just went to work, and that's it. I didn't want to, you know. I, if I met veterans and so forth, I didn't. Uh, you know what I mean? Everybody was seen like they all went their way. They were happy to be home. And just oh yeah, yeah. And uh, hey. Some of them got married, some of them never got married, but I did. But uh, then I had, uh, then after that, my kid brother, he was younger. <laughs> he was only a, still a kid. When I came home, he was only a baby yet. He was born in 41, so figure it out 45, he was four or five so years old. He was just four or five. Yeah. So it was just like Which is a, kind of a nice age. Yeah, it was just you, like a baby. You got to play Big Brother? Yeah, yeah, Big big Brother. <laughs> and then after that, as we went along, my brother went in. He was a photographer in the, in the Hawaii. He was here for us. He had a nice job. Yeah. If I find the right director, Nice climate and everything. <laughs>